Hi guys, it's me again and I am back with a review on this hair from my flip over method. As you can see, I have a wide tooth comb and I am combing through it and it's getting caught. I don't know what's going on with this hair guys. Since I've installed it, I've cut about a good four to two or three inches off. I'm not really sure on the measurements, but I had a... 16 and 18 inch applied. I installed the 18 inch at the bottom and the 16 inch on top to create a more layered effect. Um, this style that I'm taking it out of, I had to half up, half down, and I left the back of my hair out, which looks like beady beads right now because I have been neglecting them, like for real. Only because, um, I did this half up, half down look, and I haven't been really putting heat to these extensions that I have in my head. I don't know, I've kind of just been getting up and going and doing what I have to do because I feel like the hair looks natural already. So I, I feel like even if it was a messy look, I still wouldn't have to tend to it much. And quite honestly, I just don't feel like doing my hair. So this is how I was looking every day. I swooped it up and I put it in a half up, half down because I be busy, your girl be busy. And um... I didn't really have to apply any heat with this style because I just slicked up my natural hair. It's so easy to put my natural hair in a ponytail or, you know, like a uh, easy style. So this was like a great look and it helped mold and shape my hair um, into this style. And then I, I thought that, you know, when I was ready to do another style like I'm doing today, It'll be easier for me to style it and more manageable because I already have it going back. And this is a flip over method. We, with my hair being more fine, um, I find that using products like, you know, like gels or holding um, mousses and stuff like that helps to hold my hair better than using heat. Um, and so that's what I've been doing is really shaping my hair with product and then doing like the tips of my hair with the actual iron. I initially was curling my hair inward, but I didn't like how that looked. So today we're going to go with the little Barbie flips. Um, I didn't think I could do it with this hair being this limp and being as thick as it was. But um, I gave it a shot, gave it a try, and it seemed to have worked out. Guys, what do you think of my skin? Because as I'm watching this video, doing this voiceover, I am just finding that I am looking very unique lately. Um, I usually have this thing where I don't like to be on camera for long periods of time talking because I don't know. It's just something about the way that I feel about myself now that or that I used to feel about myself um, being on camera, you know, with me not having all the uh, all of the aesthetics that I wanted to have done before doing so. But I don't know, like. I'm learning to embrace myself. It's very crazy out there in this world. A lot of people don't like themselves. A lot of people that we idolize and look up to, they don't even see themselves in the way that we see them. And with me knowing and truly being able to understand that, I'm learning to love and embrace myself every step of the way, even if I am going to engage in cosmetic surgery or what have you. I'm learning to love myself at all phases. Um, you never know. I might just end up doing things the natural way, like, you know, my Nana taught me, um, just moisturize, 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 hydrate, and stick in your routine. My skin is clearing up. I have a lot of underlying issues um, that show up throughout my skin and my face, but this is the closest I've ever been up close without, like, a filter or anything. As you can see, my imperfections and stuff like that, which is, like, I don't care. This is like very much courageous and a lot of growth for me. But I've been zooming in because I actually want to capture these moments of, you know, me at this moment, at these stages, because I just feel progression coming on. I'm doing my hair on camera. I was thinking about doing my makeup on camera, but that's just too much work for me in one day. So I just decided to go with, you know, this hair review and styling it and just going from there because I am not trying to work myself to get to death child i'm just not and i kind of low-key think that this phase little stance is cute with my little alfalfa bun in the flips it's real real cute i don't know i may 
looking to do in the, <laughs> this style more, you know, sleek and more professional next time around because y'all know I love my top knot buns. That is one of my very first YouTube videos. <laughs> um, I posted it, I don't know how long ago, but I just love me a top knot. I just have a round face and I feel like people with round and heart shaped faces can really wear any hairstyle there is known to man. Don't shoot the messenger um but this hair was i like the density of this hair and i will even say the quality however i don't know if it's shedding the way that it's shedding because of the many times that i cut the weft i just recently watched a video the other day with this girl she's a dope hairstylist and she really had me reconsidering just getting back into the hair game and going back to school and getting my license for real I went to school for cosmetology, for those of you who do not know, and I never really pursued it after I didn't pass my state exam. Um, I don't know. I kind of just lost hope. I was going through a lot of stuff in life, but I graduated at the top of my class, even managed to teach my instructors some of my ways and methods of styling hair. And everybody always say that I have it in me, which I seem to know. I've done a lot of miracle hairstyles on my um old clients and i know they all love me because it's, it's like an experience it's a whole experience with me when you get your services done but um yeah so i watched this lady she did an install i'm not sure if it's the same kind of um install that i have like the flip over method but when she was applying the webs to her client she never cut the tracks I mean, never. The way she was folding them, and she said that they had to be good quality, which I believe, because when some um, tracks are too thin, like, it looks bulky, and it's kind of hard to flip over. So I know that had to be, like, some good, good bohemian, Peruvian, some kind of hair. Um, so I've been looking into that, and... After watching that video, she just made me get in the mood. I'm like, you know what? My hair has been looking like this for about a week, going on a week, a few days. Come on, Deja. Come on, Pinstar. You got to get back into yourself. Don't let yourself go. Y'all, I'm slowly getting back on the hamster wheel. Yes, I am a hamster getting back on the wheel. Um, a lot of the times, I just don't feel like doing my hair. And there's no particular reason. I'm not trying to self-diagnose myself or anything. I have just grown into, or not even grown. I feel like I've always had these ways about me. It's just growing up. Having the kind of mother that I had, I never had a choice to like just be caught slipping and just not caring about myself. Because I know she w I was going to hear her mouth. But now, since after losing her, I kind of like take some days to myself, which I feel like is very healthy. But at the same time, not good because, you know, when you become in a routine of, you know, looking a certain way and just being up on yourself, you kind of notice and feel the difference when you don't do it as much as you're used to doing it. But now that I'm a lady, a young woman, and I have priorities, it's not my go-to thing to do anymore because I have more responsibilities than I did before. But I'm learning how to incorporate them into my day-to-day, -day, everyday life. And um, I'm getting there, guys. I'm, nobody's perfect. But um, this is just a quick method, quick style for me to do on myself because I was getting tired of the way my hair was looking. Ugh, you would too. And I was getting really tired of it matting up. So I'm also trying to see that if after I style it, because this is the first time since I have installed it that I have put heat on my hair. I haven't been putting heat on this hair like every day because I really wanted to see how it held up. I didn't really spray any like spritz or holding sprays on this hair when I styled it ever since the install and um I think I've been wrapping my hair every night I've been trying to at least maybe on my bonnet on but I'm going to invest in some rollers so that you know my hair can really be prepped and you know maintained the way it's supposed to be and I'm gonna see how it goes from there I think I did get it wet in the shower a couple of times so like this is just like a perfect uh way to test the hair and see how it holds up so yeah the hair has been shedding a lot and um after flat ironing it today or tonight i'm going to see how it does tomorrow and throughout the rest of the week today is wednesday um and i wanted to style my hair for work tomorrow and just really to have my hair styled because i don't know it's getting nice outside and i just don't want my hair to be looking a mess like i did it for a reason and now i need to keep up with it this is like a cute quick beginner's hairstyle and as you can see i'm combing through the hair as i style it to see 
you know what areas really need to be flipped so i go back in i really wanted to straighten the hair all throughout the tracks top to bottom to straighten it and get it back even and maintain you know when i installed this hair i put spritz um combined with the adhesive to extra hold it this is a style oh my god my skin is just looking so radiant and this is me just looking at myself after i finish curling it um as you continue to brush your hands and your um why tooth comb through this look or even like fluff it up i just like the way it looks on my face this is like so cute i can picture myself like you know with a light amount of makeup on to cover up my blemishes some ice um, mascara or even lashes just like little small ones cute ones clean my eyebrows up a little bit even though i like the natural look i like that i like everything about my face <laughs> and just see how i would look um I'm really focusing on my hygiene and skincare and stuff like that. Um, I used to wear a lot of makeup. I'm a makeup girl. I'm sorry. I was just saying to myself today, I'm like Hillary and Ashley Banks complied complied combined in one. Like I have that bubbly personality, but I'm also, you know, the darker skin girl. So I always just felt like I was the both of them, you know. I don't know why I feel like I have similarities of both of them. Um, so it was cute. <laughs> Bougie Banks. <laughs> I like that. So as you can see, I'm showing you pieces of the hair that was shedding. I'm taking it out of my brush and my comb. And now I'm just going back playing in the hair because now I want it to look tidy. And I want it to be extra shaped to my face. Even when the curls drop, I just want it to just look, you know, natural, but lustrous, but natural. And yeah, I'm looking in the camera in both mirrors. Guys, this is the bad side of my face, my right side. And my hands are black because of the edge gel that I put on my hair previously earlier today. Um, after putting heat with the iron, it kind of like loosened up and spread. So I had to wash my hands <laughs> and reapply um, a little bit of my edge gel now that my hair is more on the drier side when it comes to styling. And like I'm just, I don't know, I'm just finger combing my hair because I really love the way my hair came out. I didn't think that I could bring this hair back to life. And it just looks so much more fuller with my um, colorful edge gel. So this is the shedding that was in this thing that I took out of my comb that I was styling my hair with. And then I'm going to even be picking some of this hair off, up off the floor that I was throwing on the floor as I was brushing through. Because, you know, you need to clean up after yourself when you're doing your hair. And this is all the hair to sum up. Now, this is how I look after I took a couple pictures. You know, I was feeling myself. These are completely no filter. I have been spraying rose water and eucalyptus spray on my face all day because it's been a little bit hot, y'all. And I'm just loving the way my skin looks. Like, I can't believe that this whole video is like no filter. <laughs> and this is my skin. So... Been about a week already. And this is the second time since I've installed it that I flat ironed it. And this time I decided to do some opposite curls, which are flips and waves, beach waves and stuff like that. This is a look that I have. As you guys know, this is a flip over um, install method. And I really love this look right here. I've been wanting to do my hair in flips. But I must say that this hair sheds. Remember how I told you guys when you cut the weft of the hair? And I'm sorry to be talking with my hands, but I'll talk with my hands. Remember when I told you guys when you cut the wefts of the tracks or the extensions, whatever you like to call it, that there's a there's a more than a slim possibility that the hair is going to shed. But give or take, after the shedding, after a while that it sheds, because you know you're, you're making loose um, of the hair, so it's just granted that the hair is going to fall out. After some time, usually when the hair is good, this is how you're able to determine the shedding will stop and you'll really get to see the hair's endurance. Now, this hair that I have installed, it actually replicates, you know, African, American, black, or what have you hair. Um, my hair is a little bit of a mixture of everything in between so my hair texture um naturally after i wash it when it's wet it's curly 
um and then after a while when it dries up it kinks up like it coils up but my hair texture itself is soft so that's why as you can see with this install you can see my hair waving up i didn't want to put too much heat on my hair so what i did is molded my hair down with um some of the products that i have if you're interested in the products that i use let me know in the comments below but i molded my hair down because my hair is on the finer side and remember we want it to look realistic we don't want to do too much to our natural hair this is supposed to be a protective hairstyle so what i did was i molded my hair um in the shape that I wanted it to go. And I actually put it in a half up, half down bun to actually kind of like train my hair to go back because then my natural hair powder, it falls to my face or it comes outward. So after I shaped my hair, I went in with my flat iron slash curling iron. Um, I don't even see the name on this iron anymore. Oh, it says that it is Vigari Professional Hair Straightener. You can straighten with this and you can also curl. So I went in with this and I did like my flips and stuff like that. You don't want to put too much product on this hair because as I said before, it sheds. But if you want to hold your curling, um, your curls and stuff in your hair, I would recommend getting some soft rollers and just wearing them to bed at night. You know, putting the plastic cap over your um, bonnet after you put the rollers on. And then I would put another bonnet on just to be like super, super careful because I hate when my natural hair like you know uh, reactivates until it's natural state so that's what i did now i'm just gonna show you guys uh i want to turn around but then i really don't because there's really no need it's all flat in the back there's no parts or anything like that i was thinking about um doing some quick makeup with you guys with my makeup palette and i'm not really sure which color i want to use because I don't really want to get made up before I go outside and I like the way my skin looks so if I do it I have to do my makeup then wash my face then go outside so I'm not sure but today I think I'm gonna just stop with this just showing you guys my new look let me know how you like my flips um I'm not sure if this hair is shedding because I use the spritz to um to bond each weft as I did my install method but this is just my experience with this hair it may be different for you if you apply it differently like not cut the wet not you know use double adhesives to make sure that the hairstyle lasts i don't know but i use many different types of hairs before and this hair i mean it's a light shed but it kinks up too so we're going to see how we do for the second week now that i have went back in with my iron and did a totally completely different style that I really like, that really makes me look mature. So, all right guys. <laughs> 